So I was out on my GP 1800R and uh, blew out a clutch. The uh, supercharger clutch no longer works anymore. So I'm gonna do a replacement on that today. I think I'll start it up real quick so you can hear what it sounds like when the supercharger clutch goes out. I'm gonna give it a quick start for you. Got the lids off. Let's go ahead and see what she sounds like. like having that supercharger clutch not working so basically supercharger is not spinning um, so it's not putting any air into extra air into the motor so it's probably gonna end up running rich and in return it's not actuating the uh, blow-off valve either right here so I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this thing and kind of take you step by step on how to replace one so first order of business is getting the uh, blow-off valve removed there but before I do that I want to just kind of show you what came in this kit um, so it comes with a couple of new bolts to tighten down or secure your timing chain tensioner obviously use Loctite on it um, gives you the foot-pound rating to tighten all the bolts down to for both of these uh, and also this is what the new one looks like that's what the old one looks like and this is the tool you're supposed to use to hold it when you're tightening it down or loosening it um, as you can see fits on there just like that it's a really tight fit and then you torque it down or loosen it whichever so yeah as you can see it works one way I'm guessing my other one doesn't but we'll find out what happens when I pull it apart that's the new one so anyway, get started on this thing. Oh yeah, and it comes with an oil pump gasket. I guess apparently you gotta replace that. So these little guys are just seven millimeter. So I'm gonna start by removing this. And then uh, get down into the brackets down there. Got both clamps loosened up. <clears throat> one there, one down there. and then it'll clamp down there some more. There you go. Let's put this up and out of the way. Clamp. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pull that intake off too. So let's that clamp there. And then the bolt up there. And then it comes right out. The next order of business, getting this bracket off. And those are 14 millimeter. Oh, wait. Got all the bolts off. Um, there's four of them, uh, one up here, one down below here, and then this one here and this one here. As I'm pulling it off, I realize that there's, looks like some kind of locator pins for this thing. So you need this for the, uh, it's a bracket for the uh, intercooler there. It looks like they definitely use Loctite, that's for sure. So that's what it looks like when you take it out. So. Two bolts on this side, two bolts on that side. Yeah, I got the... <clears throat> got that bracket out of the way now. So I'm looking at these bolts. It looks like a couple of eights 
and four twelves. So I'm gonna start pulling all these off. So I can pull those off and these two. I don't, you know, don't believe you pull that one off. Just these six. She's all loose. Now it's just time to get it off. So pull this thing out of here. Oh yeah. Try not to bum it up. Let's see what this thing looks like. Got a little seal there. Got an oil passage. It's your supercharger. There we go. Spins good too. One of these days I'll do that shaft upgrade kit. These are all Loctited in for sure. Um, I just used my uh, impact to get them out. They were long winded and difficult <clears throat> to get the wrench way down in there. So but yeah, there it is. Let's see what the front looks like. Nice and clean. Well, we got that thing off. Um, this is how you know your supercharger clutch is Dunskis. Look, it spins both ways. So now we know for sure that supercharger clutch is done. So go ahead and start taking off the old oil pump here. Um, <clears throat> and I'll uh, show you what bolts on here we need to take off. All right, two more 12s to pull out there for the oil line. Looks like all these are Allen heads. They are <clears throat> five millimeters. I'm not sure how many of them there are. I'm just gonna start pulling them off. I'll give you a good look down there what it looks like. All the way down. I think there's a bolt right there too. And let's just start pulling all these off. I'm starting to take these bolts off the uh, <clears throat> oil pump here. I'm noticing they're all the same length. Um, quite a few of them on there. I'm just using my little impact here with the five mil. I'm just pulling them all off that way. Um, pretty simple. We're just going to have to know where each one goes. I guess when I'm done, I'll have to just use the gasket as my template. Try not to drop them down in there. All right, got the uh, gear out of there and the gasket material off. You can see there in the mirror, uh, I gotta get to that 17 millimeter bolt right there. And <clears throat> that shaft does not come out unless you have a magnet or if you use the gear and you press down onto the top of that shaft with the gear and move the gear forward it kind of starts pushing the shaft out um, that's one way of getting it out or a magnet um, i didn't have a magnet small enough so i just pushed down on the top of the gear and then it started pushing out this way there's a couple collars in there see that collar right there you want to make sure that stays in there for when you reinstall the gear so i just kind of left the shaft um, like that temporarily and uh, if you notice there's a little hole right there you want to make sure that's facing the right direction when you put it back in and uh, here's that gear that I pulled out it was just in here this way so this has a little collar too here on the end see there and it's just brass on the inside of that Okay, so the gear is off. I took the shaft out. Um, there is a little hole on here and you wanna make sure that that hole lines up the same way that it was last time when you took it out. <clears throat> um, so I got it in there the way it came out. Um, here's your oil pump. It's got plenty of oil in there, so I'm not gonna need to refill it. And got the tool on there that holds the supercharger clutch so you can pull that bolt off um, <clears throat> so I can get the mirror up here right about 
here, see how it lines up with that bolt hole. You're gonna take one of your bracket bolts for the uh, intercooler and put it in that hole. What that does is it keeps the engine from turning over while you are trying to remove that bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, got that bolt threaded on there. As you can see, it's gonna hold that in place while I'm removing the bolt on the supercharger clutch. Oops. There we go. Got that bolt off. It is a left-hand thread. Uh, you can see right there the L. So that means it's left-hand thread. And then this is also a hollow bolt. Did not know that, pretty cool. Anyway, uh, go ahead and pull that supercharger clutch out of there now. Let's see if we can get the tool off first. Take that bolt off from up top. Got thread lock on it, it's a little tough to turn with oily hands. It's nice. Alright, get you out of there. Supercharger clutch, old clutch. Yep. No good. Anyway, so I'm gonna replace this thing and be good to go. Now uh, you can see where those two bolts are on the uh, timing chain tensioner. I guess I gotta pull these two bolts off. Uh, right here, this one and this one. <clears throat> Got to use Loctite on them too as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two off here. The, again, the new ones are button head screws. Oh, fell on the ground. Oh, they're from the Yamaha. So those are the new button heads. And put some Loctite on there and pull out one at a time. Get those replaced. All right, both button head screws are on there now. Um, it was uh, not easy for me only because I had to chase the threads on that top one right here. Um, it started binding as I was going in, uh, tightening it down, and for some reason it just started binding up. Flattened out the thread on one end, so I just chased it with a uh, six millimeter by 1.0. Uh, thread pitch tap and got all the old Loctite out of there, which was blocking it from going in all the way. So anyway, got them both tightened down. Um, if you're going from foot pounds to inch pounds like I did, it's 88.8 .8 inch pounds uh, for torque spec because it's 7.4 foot pounds. Anyway, I'll move on to the uh, supercharger clutch now. I have the new clutch on there. Um, also have the tool on there. And once again, I have threaded on a bolt to hold it in place so it doesn't move forward or backward, uh, thus maybe damaging the motor. Um, so the new one's on there. I'm gonna torque this down to 59 foot pounds. It's rated on here. And this one does do, um, does torque in reverse. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, got her all torqued. I'm going to move on to putting the oil pump back on. So I have the gasket back on there. You can kind of see that in the mirror there. Uh, with the oil pump, getting ready to put that back on. I just got to make sure I got it clocked right. And uh, it's got oil in here. I don't want to make a giant mess. So I'm going to shut off the camera here and put that bad boy back on. Okay, got the 
oil pump back on there. So all those bolts or the oil pump, all these bolts are to be torqued to 8.1 foot pounds, which adds up to about 97 inch pounds on my tool. Um, got the oil line back on um, both sides. So now I'm gonna put the supercharger back on and the intake and all that stuff. And then we'll give it a start and see what it sounds like. So yeah, it's the next day now. And uh, something I forgot to mention while you're doing the uh, supercharger clutch on these things, because you're taking the front half of the motor off, you're gonna need to drain the oil. Um, that's something I did after I got the oil pump off and didn't realize I forgot to evacuate the oil out of there. So anyway, that's something you probably wanna do before you start this project. Um, the supercharger, I put it back together last night, got everything all together and cleaned up. So I'm gonna give it a quick start and you guys can hear what it sounds like with the new supercharger. So there you have it. Um, you can actually hear the supercharger turning now, all the gears in there. Um, it's kind of one of those things. I guess after about, this one has 135 hours on it and the supercharger clutch finally went out. So about that time, I guess, I was hoping it would last longer, but at least it's towards the end of the season when it decided to go out. But she's all replaced. I'm going to take it down to the water and uh, make sure there's no oil leaks after a couple of hard runs on it. You'll see me there. Okay, so back on the water. Uh, just a quick run to make sure everything's good. And I'll put her away for the winter.